Welcome to JWL Sports, where we review all the best sports clips from around the country. Now you're probably wondering, why should I watch over here instead of over there? Because over there, they don't care about what you have to say. They say this all the time, they talk down to us, they think we're just a bunch of clowns on YouTube, Twitter, but I think it's the opposite. I think we know exactly what we're talking about. So I read every single comment. So if you think what I'm saying is the most ridiculous thing you've ever heard, let me know in the comments below. If you think what I'm saying is the most amazing thing, then definitely please let me know. Either way, Way, let's get into some discussions let's get into some fights but ultimately let's just have some fun and please do consider subscribing we are building an amazing community here and it's turning into something truly truly special and i would absolutely love to see you part of it i want to build a community that we all genuinely feel connected to something that we're really excited to be part of so without further ado let's get to it um we're watching a clip of the herd um with con cowherd of course um talking about the Detroit Lions, um, and whether or not they're considered a Cinderella team. Um, and, you know, I haven't seen this clip. I never watched the clips before. And the the thing that I wanted to just say before we kind of unpack what Colin's about to say about this is that I think that the Lions are a legitimate team, and I think they're a good team, and I think they have a true chance at beating the 49ers. My narrative over the last um, few weeks of the 49ers is that they're not as elite as we all think they are they have a stacked roster no doubt but I think they are limited at quarterback I don't think Brock Purdy is bad but I don't think Brock Purdy can match the rest of that roster and that definitely keeps them limited and my point was proven last weekend um, there was the number there were the seven uh, the the Packers were the seven seed okay the Packers are supposed to be trash they're not good and the 49ers are supposed to be elite that's what everybody was saying, that the Cowboys just choked and that the 49ers are not that good uh, or that the Packers are not that good. So what happened then this past weekend? How did the how did the Packers legitimately almost win that game? And it came down to the very last second and, you know, a, another missed field goal. And, you know, how did that happen? I mean, Brock Purdy almost got picked off like three times and should have been picked off three times, which would have obviously changed the game. So the reason why I'm talking about this right now is that the Lions have a legitimate shot at making the Super Bowl. They are a real team. And again, people were saying that the Tampa, that Tampa Bay is a good team. And I kept saying, no, they're not. That the Eagles are just awful. And that's exactly what happened. Baker Mayfield showed exactly who Baker Mayfield is. He can make some great throws. He can do some good things. He took terrible sacks. Got himself out of field goal range multiple times, just like he did the weekend before against the Eagles, and then threw a terrible interception in a moment that really didn't call for that moment. Um, and again, I see Baker Mayfield as like a notch below Dak Prescott, worthy of being a quarterback, worthy of obviously being in the NFL. Um, I think he's like a step up of a Geno Smith and a step below um, Dak Prescott. That's where I would put him at. So this idea that he's better than Tom Brady or he's as good as Tom Brady or, you know, all this nonsense. It's just not true. And the Detroit Lions showed that. And it's not like the Lions are known to having this, like, shut down elite, you know, unstoppable um, defense either. So um, I'm curious to see what uh, Colin has to say about this game. Well, um, sometimes we confuse a great story with a great team. Let's talk Detroit Lions. Like Joe Flacco in Cleveland. Everybody's like, oh, that, that was a great story. He wasn't having a great year. Houston Texans season. That's not a great team. It's a great story. C.J. Stroud, D'Amico Ryans. And these Lions, they're a great story too. But um, this roster, that pass rusher, that running back, that tight end, that safety, these weapons – Detroit can match San Francisco player for player. Not quite as old, but arguably just as good as just as deep. The star of the Lions is not the quarterback, though he's been excellent, or the coach, and he's been surprisingly good. It's the front office. The Lions' rookies are Pro Bowl level. Their second, third-year players are some of the best players in the league. Sam Laporta could be the second-best tight end. Panay Sewell, Aiden Hutchison, Jameer Gibbs. Like, he's as dynamic and twitchy as any running back in the league. The last three drafts, they've hit minimum six home runs. Not just good rookies, good second-year guys, like top of the league good. And Jared Goff, with time to throw, we saw this in Los Angeles, 
He's really, really good. He wins a lot. He's now in his second NFC Championship game. It's not all McVay, believe it or not. Don't confuse Detroit with a Cinderella story. You know, that, uh, that small college basketball team at a private school in the South that gets to the Sweet 16. No, that's not what this is. Detroit has dudes at safety, linebacker, tight end, offensive tackle, running back, wide receiver. They got dudes everywhere. And they're doing championship things. They draft, they're patient, they develop, they found a quarterback, they protected him, they added weapons. They don't have great corners. You can beat them deep. But, I mean, Baltimore doesn't have great corners, and San Francisco doesn't. The truth is, all four teams going forward, you could say one of their weaknesses, corners, maybe outside of Kansas City, but that's a weakness in the National Football League. The NFC Championship is where Detroit has landed, and it's actually where they belong. One of the cool things about this team is you saw it coming. We picked them to win the division. You picked them to win the division. And so often, hope and optimism fade in January, right? The Cinderella stuff. That's not what this is. This is what championship teams do. Draft, develop, get guys. They have overspent in free agency. No dumb moves. It's smart. It's tough. It's relentless championship-level football. And I don't know what the odds makers think, but I think they're a younger version of San Francisco with a better quarterback. I think they got dudes absolutely everywhere. Hi, everybody. Thanks for yeah, watching. I Subscribe. Think, I don't know why that was cut off so quickly, but um, I I agree with that. I mean, I don't want to say that they're, they can necessarily go um, player for player against San Francisco. I mean, I don't really know, honestly. Like, I'm, I'm not going to pretend that. Um, I think in the playoffs, this is where I don't give Detroit the edge. And again, I, I think it's actually probably a genuine coin flip um because i you know one i do trust shanahan more in this moment he's been there he knows it i don't know if i necessarily trust the coaching staff both offense and defense for that matter um with detroit um i just don't know um you know i mean who just who knows the type of thing that like dan campbell's gonna do in in the nfc championship game right like is he going to do a fake punt on his own 10 yard line like that, that's a possible that's like a genuine possibility and again if it works out then you're like this man's amazing he's crazy but oh my god i can't believe it or it goes terribly wrong and then you just you know gave up a touchdown so it's just one of those things that you just have no idea but you are confident that shanahan's not going to do that um and so i'm just not entirely sure how to really predict this game and i'm as i've said before i'm not like a huge fan of the predictions but detroit absolutely can win this game and the 49ers are absolutely not this untouchable elite team in fact i think that the only chance that the 49ers have at winning the super bowl is if they play the chiefs i think they would probably beat the chiefs but i don't know because that defense is good and they could really you know rattle brock purdy um but the ravens they have no chance at beating the ravens and again i give it a 50 50 chance at beating detroit I think Detroit is legit. I think Detroit can hang with the best of them. Um, they're they're ready for this moment, but that's also the problem. They're ready for this moment, but it doesn't mean that they're going to be put in a position to succeed in this moment. If that makes sense. Um, I think, again, Christian McCaffrey, you know he can step up in this moment. You know he's ready. Not only is he ready, but he can also perform. We saw Ayuk. I mean, like they say, they bailed out Brock Purdy. They saved him. He was not, he did not have a good game at all. He was making terrible throws. And even some of the catches that ended up being big were were not good throws. And like Ayuk, like literally like grabbing it off his fingertips, like just doing big things. And I don't know if Debo is uh, playing or not. I don't know what the story is with regards to that or if that's come out yet or if that's up in the air. So I'm not really sure. That will obviously help. Um, but again, Brock Purdy did not look good. He did not look confident. He was rattled. I mean, again, this whole idea, they want to talk about the one thing where he was like taking the hand off his ball and like wiping his hands. That just shows you more of the lack of confidence that he has in himself. You know, it's just like all up in his head. So the, these things happen to, you know, lots of players, especially young players. So Brock Purdy can easily be rattled 
in, you know, in, in really any situation because he's just, he doesn't have this unquestionable confidence in himself, which is understandable because he hasn't done things to earn that from himself. You know, you got, you got to earn it in yourself. Um, so I think this game is definitely going to be a fun game and an exciting game to watch. And I, I really think that it should be pretty competitive. Um, if you're forcing me to pick right now who wins this game, I would say I don't have an answer for you. I, I honestly, like, I was going to give an answer, then I was realized. I was like, I actually genuinely don't have an answer. I got to think about it more um, because I really, really think, I think so much of it is going to depend upon who does get that interception, right? Who, do, you know, does Campbell, is he in a situation where he goes for it on fourth down and they actually are able to get it, right? They are able to get that extra yard or, you know, when it's right on the line, it's like, where does the ref spot the ball, right? Is it an inch short or does he give him, you know, a good spot? You know, so much of that really, really ends up mattering in a game. And I think this type of game, the the margin of error could be really, really small. So if Brock Purdy does have a bad overthrow, does you know are is detroit able to step up and actually you know catch that ball and actually you know and do that i, I don't know is debo samuel playing uh you know what's the story here with all of that um and debo even if he is playing he always is getting banged up and so who knows you know so but either way i'm really excited for uh this weekend's games i think um we definitely have a fun afc and nfc championship coming head to head and um i think detroit proved that they are deserving to be here. They are definitely, you know, one of the two best teams in the NFC. And now it's up to them to prove, are they one of the two best teams in the NFL? And are they the best team in the NFL? I don't, even if they win, I don't think that they would be considered, even if they won the Super Bowl, I wouldn't even necessarily consider them to be the best team in the NFL. Um, just that they were able to play the best at the right time. Um, which there is a difference because right now I think undis you know indisputably the best team in the NFL is the Ravens. They're the only team that truly convincingly said we are the best. You can't beat us. If you want to beat us, you have to beat us. None of this nonsense, anything beyond that. So that's the way I'm viewing it right now. Um, we'll see how the days you know, unfold leading up to the game. But let me know what you guys think. Do you think Detroit has proven to be legit? Um, do you think that they got lucky by playing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, that they were not really that special? You know, who knows what would have happened in the division, you know, in the round when they were playing, um, if they had to play the Cowboys, you know? I uh, would love to hear your thoughts on this one. Please let me know in the comments below. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. We are building an amazing community here, and I would love to see you part of it. And please give this video a thumbs up. It really, really helps with the visibility and the algorithm, and I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much, and see you next time.